What, do you think I was gonna enter through the door? Gotta change things up, keep you on your toes. Anyway, today was Nintendo's E3 conference. I was I was gonna upload my reaction, but my the footage got corrupted or something. But Ah Oh my That was the best E3 presentation all week. But that's not saying much because they've all sucked. Except for Square Enix. Square Enix was really good. But let's just let's just take a recap of what happened at E3 this year. Or Nintendo's E3. So first off, they showed a brand new Smash character. Um the the hero from Dragon Quest. Um are they gonna keep the name as the hero so the announcer is gonna say the hero wins? That's kind. That's kind of lame. I know they all have care. They all have names. I'm. I'm gonna assume it's something like the Koopalings, where it's like Bowser Jr., Roy, Morton, Wendy. They have all different names on the character select screen. They're just grouping them all together as one. So like on the website, it's the hero because they don't want to have, they don't want to have um, all, they don't want to have all the names of all the characters to look like there's, they are all the DLC characters. Um, so that kind of makes sense. I'm not really that excited for it, but it's a new character, and it's a new, it's a new character in Smash. It's not from a franchise that I particularly know, but I know it's super super popular in Japan, so uh, good for Japan, I guess. Then they announced, uh, then they announced more Dragon Quest stuff. They announced, um, they announced that Luigi's Mansion still doesn't have a release date. But it's coming in 2019. That's all we know. We don't know the release date, even though it's coming this year. But we got a whole bunch of details about that. There's uh, co-op. There's online co-op, <laughs> which I think it's funny that Luigi's Mansion has co-op, which is not really known for online co-op. But Mario Maker doesn't have online co-op. So it's kind of weird like Luigi's Mansion I would expect local multiplayer but not online multiplayer um what else what else we got we got uh, details on the new Animal Crossing which is called Animal Crossing New Horizons um, it looks kind of like an expanded version of uh, the mobile game uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp but we learned that it's we learned that um, what did we learn? We learned that it's been delayed and it's coming out in um, March of 2020. So it was delayed by maybe four months. Um, I didn't really expect it to come out this year anyway with a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, what else happened? We got a whole bunch of RPGs. Uh, we learned that Spyro, the the Spyro Reignited Trilogy is coming to the Switch on in September. Um, we, learned that, we learned that there's two more Resident Evil games to to go with the already three Resident Evil games. We're getting Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. Leaving the only two Resident Evil games, to my knowledge, to not be on the Switch are the Resident Evil 2 remake or Resident Evil 2 uh, and Resident Evil 7. I don't expect any of those to be put on the Switch anytime soon, mostly because of uh, graphic limitations or hardware uh, limitations. It would be cool, but I'm not expecting it to happen. Maybe if they made like a Switch Pro with uh, better, better um, hardware. Maybe then we could get those games on the Switch, but I highly doubt it. Then...
then we're nearing the end of the direct. It's getting kind of, it's kind of, kind of falling off a bit. It's still a great direct. And then it happens. This, the same intro to the King K rule for Smash trailer happens and they add King K rule. It's the same trailer. But then, when you see Donkey Kong and King K. Rool and Diddy Kong sleeping, a puzzle piece comes across the room. What could it mean? A golden puzzle piece? I don't know. What could it mean? Then, they look out the window, and who do they see? Duck Hunt Dog. But it's not really Duck Hunt Dog. It's Duck Hunt Dog in a disguise. He takes off this disguise, reveals that it's Duck Hunt, and then, out of the sky, he appears. <laughs> it's Banjo and Kazooie! My, the one character I want. One of the only characters that I want. I, w I would recreate... <laughs> let, me just, let me just recreate my reaction for you. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. Ah! <laughs> That's, that's about my reaction. Uh, I was so pumped to see this. I, nobody thought this would happen. There have been plenty of leaks, plenty of rumors. Nobody thought Banjo and Kazooie would ever show up on a Nintendo console again. But guess what? It happened. It happened. I am so happy. But that wasn't the last thing they showed in the direct. You'd think it would be. No, 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 no. They, sh they show us some new Breath of the Wild footage. Oh, it might be, it might be DLC. Who knows? Who knows what it could be? And then the screen fades to black, and you see the words: "A sequel for Breath of the Wild is now in development." <laughs> Nintendo, you did it. You won E3. You have won the easiest E3 to win this year. The only people that only come close are Square Enix, and they only had two games that could even make it come close to winning. They had Final Fantasy VII Remake and, and the Avengers game, which even that looks kind of iffy. But, oof. I do not regret waking up early today for this direct because I am my blood is running faster than it has ever run before. So I'm going to end this video here. Are you excited for Are you excited for everything coming out? Are you are you um Are you hyped after all of this E3 stuff? Let me let me know in the in the comments below and like the video. Why don't you sub subscribe to my channel if you want to? Um, but that's it. That's it for today, and I'll see you all tomorrow when I recap all of this terrible E3, except for today. See ya.